to say we're having a good time with it, I think would be a little bit of an understatement, but just wanted to share a few thoughts on why we have gone full force into video this year and what we've learned, what clients, realtors, other people's, other realtors clients are saying about it. And I guess the reasons why we're doing it, but the first, I guess the three reasons, and add some if you like, Jamie, but the three reasons why we are doing more video and we're doing we're doing property video for every listing that we take on, doing them, trying to be a little bit unique and creative with them in terms of showcasing our personalities with intros and that kind of thing, but also incorporating neighborhoods into those videos. We know that a lot of buyers that are buying into our markets in New West, Burnaby, Tri-Cities, don't currently live in those markets. And so adding neighborhood footage, we've got a lot of really positive feedback from buyers who have been watching those videos, just educating them on what is around them. They're coming to look at a house in Coquitlam that they, you know, don't, other than the photos of the house, they know nothing about that neighborhood. So even just showcasing breweries and parks and schools and little shops and cafes, they get a little bit of a sense of what what it would be like to live in that neighborhood, which I really like and I think buyers have really liked. So the, I guess the th- few reasons for doing more video this year. One, uh, makes our listing stand out. It makes um, two houses are listed side by side. We have a really awesome video. We're going to get more attention to it. We're going to get more uh, views. We're going to get more eyeballs. And creating that initial connection through a creative, fun intro into the property video, I think um, I think gets more people to come look at ours. And we have some specific examples from that this year already. Sellers love it. Sellers love that um, we're excited about their home. Sellers love that we are showcasing and talking about the, the features of their home that they've enjoyed living there and also the features of the neighborhood that they've enjoyed. It looks good on us. It's a good marketing tool for us, for our team. Uh, it shows how much effort uh, we put into photo shoots and marketing properties. And lastly, long-term SEO on Google. Having hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos eventually of specific condo buildings or specific neighborhoods when buyers down the road or sellers down the road Google their address or Google their neighborhood, those videos have a high likelihood of showing up. And so it's, it's, yes, it looks good on you today in terms of like putting in the extra effort for listings, but it also has the potential to fuel uh, phone calls down the road just with the ongoing SEO. Mm-hmm. I'm going to add a few things there, Denny, mm-hmm. like it, it, just to kind of double down on some of the things I said. Um, <clears throat> from a client's perspective, you, you know, you're, you're showing more effort. Right, and and let's be specific about these videos. We, what we've done is we're just doing a little more. Uh, well, one, basically, almost all of our listings are getting these videos, and we're trying to do a little more personal touch by speaking in them and highlighting the most important parts. Mm-hmm. So, some of the advantages of the video is is it a still photo is still the easiest and most prominent way that people look at properties on the MLS, but the videos can show places that still photos can't, in a way they can't. So, you know, a specific example is we have a listing in Victoria Hill, uh, unit 410, 20 East Royal right now. And the, it's a stunning two bedroom with a rooftop patio. Uh, we had great photos, but the video showed the kitchen much better. And the video showed the rooftop patio with the hot tub in a more, uh, you feel like you're there. Yeah. So not only did it give you the, the angle and all the good angles and all, like it, it looked great, it just made it more, I don't know, just more real, yeah. more real. So um, so sometimes for some properties, it shows the property better, mm-hmm. but let's be clear, the videos are in different platforms and often. I mean, aside from the virtual tour link, if someone's on the MLS, yes, they're going to see the stills and video all in one spot, but our videos are going to YouTube, they're going to um, Instagram, Facebook, they're used in permanent posts and in stories. Um, so we're, these videos prominently are targeting people that aren't on the MLS site. So we're, 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 we're quite often using these videos to get the attention of people that might not be looking. Um, and, and that's where the value comes in. Yeah. Low, low, in a practical sense, nine times out of 10, I'm guessing, that the, the video 
um, isn't going to bring, you know, isn't going to bring you that extra dollar to your listing nine times out of, well, maybe it's four times out of five, nine times out of 10, depends on the market. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're a seller and you are trusting your biggest investment with a realtor and you're putting effort in to get your place ready to show and presenting it to sell, um, promoting your property and other channels is the least that a realtor can do to try to get you a better outcome. Mm. And even if it is one out of 10 times that it works, it's still, that's a that's that's huge success one out of 10 times. And that is worth doing the videos. Mm. So from a client's perspective, it's effort because if you're sitting on the market 30 days on market and your place hasn't sold, you wanna know that you've exhausted everything. And if you're a realtor and you've said, yeah, we've listed your place in the MLS, it had great photos, but we also did a video, we were promoting it on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, we did ads, we, we, we did a different clip every week for you know three, four weeks. You can have a lot more confidence behind the effort you put into that listing if it doesn't sell. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's just, I mean, effort is important in, in real estate, particularly in down markets. Um, and particularly if you're just trying to do the, get to the best outcome for that property. Uh, so from a client perspective, there are some advantages, but in a practical sense, it is a lower likelihood that uh, that's going to be the, the bait that gets the buyer in, but it could be. Um, it, it definitely should result in more views and likely more showings. From the realtor's end, as you touched on, it, it, um, you know, it, it's, it, show, it reflects well on the realtor. It, um, so from a realtor perspective, why do videos? Well, the more you do, the more comfortable you get at them. The more you do, the better you get at them, the better you are at telling the story of a listing, the better you are at telling the story of yourself, mm -hmm. the better you are at selling yourself. The more people get to know you without meeting you, the easier it is for you to land that next listing, yeah. the more likely you are to be hired before you've walked in the door. And, and video, the greatest thing about video is it gets people to just get to know you. It gets, you know, so like the positives are there. The downside is you have to get, break through that comfort zone. And it is, it is nerve wracking, but the only way to do it is by doing it. So it, it's yeah. really uncomfortable for a lot of people. And it was extremely uncomfortable for me early in my career. And I, for whatever reason, I just figured out that I had to start doing it because this was where marketing is going. It's a mindset thing, right? Yeah. You just have to close that door on this is this is not cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna look cool in this video. It's gonna be awkward. Um, and and just do it because um, we got it. We've well, I guess I have a longer history of video, but it was sporadic. So there's moments in 2008, 2009, my first videos, they're terrible to today's standards. <laughs> but um, you know, I've been doing video since 2008, 2009. It's just that they come and go. And now we are consistently doing them. And in the last, I'd say maybe it's three years ago, one big shift was on our social media posts. We noticed that still photos weren't getting any love. You know, they went from, we could post a still photo of a townhouse and it would, and boost it on Facebook and we'd get 15,000 views. And then the next year, it would spend one penny or three cents, get dropped as an ad because it wasn't engaging enough and we'd get no views or, or very a couple views at most. So still photos weren't cutting it for ads anymore. So we were forced to do more video. And then nowadays, we we know the art, we're getting better at the art of the video. So we do the full property video, that's say it's a two minute long video. We dice it up into smaller clips. We have moments for ads, moments for stories, moments for um, different platforms, posts for different mm -hmm. platforms. And and once and, and the best way to understand how to get the most use leverage out of your video is by doing them. And and now being on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. MLS, understanding SEO a bit better, knowing um, the SEO being like, if you have a hundred videos of Burnaby properties on your website, you're more likely to show up higher when people search for Burnaby real estate. Mm -hmm. um, um, but sorry, I, I kind of I, I okay. blanked out there. What, what would you say to yeah. realtors who, or to encourage them to start doing more if they're uncomfortable? Let's say they want to do more, they're just uncomfortable doing it. I think if you're a realtor, you really have to look at what you are likely to be known for. And if you are likely to be known for residential real estate, that is townhouses, condos, and houses that people, normal people that live and work here uh, want to buy and sell, 
the way the world's working is video, whether you're in it or not, um, video is becoming more and more prominent. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whether you're in it or not, start, you know, it, it's the way the world is going. It's yeah. for not just, it's not just for that virtual tour link. It's, it's for the, the social media clips. It's for the ads and, and stuff that you can do. Mm -hmm. um, but if you are say an investment specialist, you don't need to do videos. If you're an investment specialist, if you're a land assembly guy, you know, you don't need to, mm -hmm. that's not necessarily your audience, but mm -hmm. I, it, you know, you could, it still would help your business. Absolutely. Uh, but th the biggest advantage is you're, Look at what platform you want to build. You know, if you're a realtor, your name is your value, and and if you um, want to, uh, if you want to build something that's going to generate you business ongoing, that's going to be value valuable, you need to build up some platform, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. YouTube, a website, a Google Business dot. Mm -hmm. um, it's helpful to have leads come in from some source. And if you are constantly putting out video content, you're more likely to build a following on Instagram, maybe Facebook, YouTube. Uh, you're more likely to get better rankings on your website. You're, you're sharing more content out there. And over years of doing that, it's gonna create ongoing lead generation and dividends. Mm -hmm. And so there's, so when I look at video, I look at it from the client perspective, there's a win. From the realtor's perspective, it's a win, but it's more of a long-term win. And, it, and you gotta be, con, you know, you gotta stick with it. Mm -hmm. So there's, so really, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a win-win. It's half of it benefits the listing, half of it benefits the realtor. It's one of the best things we do to market ourselves. Totally. Yeah. The, you touched on it really quickly, but I think it deserves some more time. In real estate, you are the business. Your face is the business. Your personality is the business. And what better way for future clients to get to know your personality than, yes, building a platform online, using Instagram, using Facebook. Uh, but video is where they really get to know you. And we've had a lot of positive feedback from current clients, from other realtors' clients who've just said they came to see our house because the video was entertaining. And they're like, oh, you're the ice cream guys. Because <laughs> one video we went and got ice cream and talked about how the house was half a block to uh, a Rocky Point ice cream. But understanding that your personality, regardless of what it is, should just showcase it. Be comfortable with who you are. I think people really like that. Um, whether it's a bit goofy or super serious or, you know, whatever it is, um, you need to be professional in these videos. Obviously, you're marketing someone's, one of their biggest investments of their lives. But at the same time, showing your personality, I think, just helps get more views. And more views means more showings on the listings. And if you just can't get over that personality thing, I mean, there is some people that aren't meant for being in front of the camera. Maybe it's because, I for for so many reasons. Do you right? think that's true? Well, because that's what I used to believe. Yeah. For me personally, I used to believe that uh, I was too shy. This isn't my thing. My thing is to work hard, put my head down, and like be the grinder. And that's it. And I thought, yeah. in front of a camera, that's not my thing. That's Jamie's thing. Jamie's good in front of the camera. I'm not that good. I'll let him do it. But a couple of years later, I just kind of pushed myself to use Instagram more and talk to a camera. And it was so awkward and really, really um, <laughs> uncomfortable. And I'm really happy that stories go away after 24 hours so that you can't go back and look at my, <laughs> that's a great way to get my videos two years yeah. ago. But and people, just, just to highlight there, stories are a great way to get comfortable in front of huge. a camera. They disappear in 24 hours. Don't worry about it. Put, start that way. That was, I think, what you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, go ahead, Denny. It was Continue like two right. years ago, yeah. And yeah. now, honestly, it's some of the funnest parts of my week. And it's really cool to see how much the realtors on our team are improving. It's cool to see how much more comfortable I am. I used to sweat in front of the camera a lot. And now it's just like, I'm pumped and I'm, re I'm excited to do the intros. And it just gets this weird creative um, thing happening in me that I don't prep that much for them. It's more just like walk through the home quickly, pick out some features and then make it fun. Yeah, you know, I'm glad you checked me on that video comment I made because I'm trying to think of many scenarios. Like, and I can't think of many scenarios where it doesn't make sense to do video. Mm -hmm. You know, like, arguably, if you are if you are just 
in tune with your, you know who you are. You know you're a traditional prospector. You're not an online guy. You dial for dollars and you door knock and, and that's who you are and that's who you're gonna be. And you're gonna, you know, yeah, maybe video is not for you. Or if you have, it, but if you can talk to a client, you can talk on camera. And so, I, you know, part of me was thinking, I know that I've had concerns about doing video from, you know, uh, there was a realtor in the past that talked to me about it that had a real thick mm -hmm. accent. And her concern was, I'm not going to look good on camera. I don't sound, you know, like, you know, Canadian. And that was her concern. But, you know, after thinking it through, well, you're going to get better if you do more videos. And if you can talk to clients, you should have those conversations in front of a client, <laughs> yeah. in front of a camera. And um, don't be so critical of yourself. Yes, to some, some people, you might not be the fit and they might not, but there's very little downside to video because you're baiting people that can relate to you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, you're not, don't worry about the people that aren't gonna like you in the video because they wouldn't have known about you anyway if you didn't have the video. At least exactly. they have the choice to not like you in the video. You're worried about putting more videos out there for so many like other reasons that are, you know, building a platform, building SEO in a neighborhood or an area, um, but also just getting better at it. And, and it's the way the world's going. And, That's the th I think yeah. a lot of people compare themselves to people who are doing video really, really well in real estate. And there's obviously going to be people that are better than you at it or more comfortable at it. But they started out sucking too. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. They've just been doing it for way longer. Yeah. Like me as an example, I was so awkward and brutal at the beginning. And I'm like I said, I'm glad the stories disappear. But <laughs> now they're so much fun and I really enjoy them and I feel like I'm getting better. And there's definitely people that I look up to that are doing a lot of video in real estate and outside of real estate that I can pull things from and watch often. But, uh, but it's cool to see the progress and not holding yourself to a standard of someone else who's been doing it for eight years. It's just unrealistic and... I don't know, I think a losing formula, but if you just focus more on having fun with them, using them as a tool to market your listings and market yourself and know that you're going to get better over time. Speaking on the listing front, let's just give some practical tips, okay? Mm -hmm. Just just to give people some inspiration and or, or some direction. When we're doing listing videos, um, you know, Denny, what are some of the simple tips for putting yourself in with the property in that video. Like Number one, be excited. The the most, uh, I don't know if it's awkward or uncomfortable videos to watch is is monotone. Is just, it seems like you don't really want to be there. So like things I'll say in my head before doing an intro is just like, what are the best features? What is going to like make a buyer really excited about this place and get excited about it? Whether it's the neighborhood or, you know, a recently renovated bathroom or, you know, your walking distance to an ice cream store or, you know, whatever it may yeah. be. Yeah. But like be excited and then, I don't know, I, I get like you're talking about the home, of course, you're talking about the neighborhood, but, um, and well, I always let's... tell myself to be like, be myself. So like myself is professional casual, if, if you will. I don't know exactly what that means, but like, I I think I'm pretty professional in the right situations, but I also like that I can be excitable and smile a lot. I, I think when people see our videos, our brand is we're a fun team yeah. that does the work. That love what we do. Yeah, right? we, we come across as, so people get to know us. We, we've created this identity. Mm -hmm. um, going back to the enthusiasm part, really kind of just reflect on your circle of friends and the people you know. I mean, I heard it on a podcast. Enthusiasm and energy makes up for 25 IQ points. Basically, what that means is I'd rather be with someone that has great enthusiasm and energy that's dumb <laughs> as opposed to someone that I can have intellectual conversations for 25 IQ points. So, but, um, but at the end of the day, people are drawn to energy and yeah. enthusiasm. So mm -hmm. admit that in the video, try for that. Um, other thing Denny just breezed over, but what I wanna to touch on is don't talk about everything in, in the video. Yeah. Talk about the most important, uh, the, the one to three features that make that property unique. Yes. You know, um, and, it, and it might not be a feat, it might just simply be the price point. You know, if it's the rooftop patio, if it's a three bedroom, if it's the price point, if it's a rare product, whatever it is, highlight the feature that's unique, then get into the property. Yeah. Um, you know, we try to target, it can range, but let's call it maybe a 30 second intro, give or take 10 seconds. And then um, highlight the most important features, enthusiasm, 
and watch your videos and make, you know, make adjustments. Totally. Yeah, make adjustments. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Denny? <laughs> that was, I think that, was, I don't know. That, I think yeah. I got across what I wanted to yeah. say. Just the thing I really wanted to point out to realtors is just get over being uncomfortable. You're going to be uncomfortable. Everyone's uncomfortable at the beginning doing something new that they're not an expert in, but that's the only way you improve. Like it, selling a home was uncomfortable. Doing a property showing was uncomfortable. Reading strata documents was uncomfortable at the beginning, but you just do it over and over and you improve and then it starts becoming fun. Yeah. And if you want, if you want to have a day, one day where you're not door knocking or cold calling, starting to do videos today is going to get you closer to that time. Totally. Yeah. It's going to build up more lead generation sources and a couple other People like I guess to follow that are doing videos. I know Ty uh, Corsi, David Smith yep. out in the Valley. They do some great videos. So follow them. Alex McFadden, uh, Mortgage Pug. Yeah, he does some great video content. Um, any others come to mind? Mark Weens is a guy that uh, is himself, which is really cool and refreshing to see. Uh, he is very creative with video. Check him out. He's a realtor in Vancouver. Um, then you can look at the Tom Story in Toronto. I think he does. Tom Story is a good guy to follow yeah. for sure in yeah. Toronto. Yeah. And then like the big guys like Ryan Serhant, I think is doing a really good oh, job. Yeah. Yeah. Gary V does a crazy ton of video. Yeah. Um, there's lots of inspiration out there for yeah. sure. And I have to give some respects out to Ian Watt, who was an early yes. adopter of video locally, uh, a legend at the video blog. Um, and I really admired him in my early days for what he was doing. And I, I don't think he's putting out the content anymore, but he was an early adopter. Yeah. And it worked well for him. Beauty. Anyway. Do some video this year. Do some video. Send it to us. Yes. <laughs>